Welcome back, guys. <laughs> I'm also here again, back at the table. <laughs> yes, good to have you, Jonas. Thank you for not leaving <laughs> me alone. <laughs> of course, never. How, how could I? <laughs> and uh, well, before we continue now <laughs> with the next uh, student talk, we would like to know from you, do you already know what you want to do after studying? Just a simple yes or no question. <laughs> for that, just head to the Mentimeter again. And um, yeah, type yes or no. Yes, exactly. Do you know what you want to do yet? Well, I, uh, since the last module finished, I kind of do. I pretty much think that I would like to do something in production, especially with uh, videography. Ooh, and that's fun. Yeah, and I uh, hope that my internship will give me more experience and more guidance <laughs> to uh, where exactly I want to go. Well. But I definitely do feel like the, the gaming sector is something that I'm very interested in. So How about sounds, you? Hang on, before I answer that question, it sounds like you kind of discovered that throughout your studies, right? Oh yeah, actually I yeah. did, yes. Because I think that's also a big part to kind of be aware of, because we do have the chance to experience a lot, and then if that works for you, I think that's a great thing to take away. Yeah, especially through the through the uh, actual <laughs> client work that you do with actual yeah. clients. So. I was kind of trying to dodge your question as well because you know well, <laughs> I don't I'm really not gonna <laughs> not gonna leave you <laughs> leave you out of this so yeah I actually don't really know what I want to do yet um, and that's also part of why I chose the study I chose because I feel like also here at NHS Senden we get a great kind of overview for all kinds of things so that we can really figure out what we want to do as we go and are well prepared yeah. for a lot of things after our studies. Um, yeah, that is very true. So I tend to be stressed out about not knowing where things are going to go uh, because I like to have my things planned out and, you know, well, <laughs> kind of the you're, opposite. You're German, so obviously <laughs> you do like to be planned. Um, no, but uh, to be honest, I also wanted to do event management first. So Gosh. before, yeah, before, before I uh, came here to study, uh, I definitely didn't even know in w which sector I want to go. Um, and I figured that with creative business or media management, I can just do both. Yeah. So well. I still have every door open, but for <laughs> now, I'm very much interested in, into videography. In so. videography, yeah. I mean, that sounds like a very fun project. Do you have oh, anything more specific already, or is it still um, kind of... I would say like uh, more smaller content creation. Yeah. So not necessarily movies or something, but uh, especially for live events like this, for example. Mm -hmm. I would uh, definitely <laughs> also like to be behind the camera as well, not only in front of it, which I also, <laughs> well, to be fair, my dream job still might would be uh, <laughs> to be a host somewhere, have my own segment or a late night show or whatever. I, yeah, I can see you there. Well, I definitely a... could see myself there as well. <laughs> Maybe I could have you as a guest someday then. Uh, I'd love to. I'd love to. If that ever happens, make sure to call me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have to always uh, remember where you're, where you're coming from, right? So. Oh, very true. Um, well, now that I think of it, though, maybe as a long-term career goal, kind of what I want to do. Yeah. Um, we already had a little bit of small city earlier. I really like Leeuwarden because it's small. It could be even smaller for me. Really? So maybe long-term, let's think of creating a ranch with like a uh, kind of mm -hmm. hospitality aspect, so hotel, but then also organizing events like weddings and birthdays, so yeah. keep it familiar. Maybe that could be a good career goal for the long term Definitely. that I could share. I mean, you would be the most well-known person person in the village that you would live <laughs> in. That, would, that is for certain. Let's see how you guys feel about it. 55% um, don't really know what they're doing yet, 45 do, which I think is quite amazing. Yeah, that's quite a lot, actually. So if you feel like maybe also typing in the chat for others to see what exactly you, you might want to do, that might be interesting to share for everyone. Yeah. And even from 30 people, uh, yeah, 31 but still. now, that's actually, I, I think that's a fairly decent amount who already know what I want to do. They must be German. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Yes. I'm no. sorry. I'm uh, sometimes hating a bit too much on our heritage. I think. Yeah, I can, so. I can tell. Um, but I think we're pretty much ready, or at least I am, uh, for my next student talk. Really? So, um, you know, while I do that, okay. I have a little something for you. Here are some plants, and yes. here's a watering can. Okay. Um, so maybe you can try to nourish those plants a little bit, uh, like you would your career, and see where you get to in the end. Okay. Um, and then we'll see if you learn something from it in the end when I come back. Yeah, I don't know how this will prove useful, but... Give it a shot, maybe. I'm, I'm sure you'll figure something out. Oh, well, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll see you. See you later. <laughs> Hello. Ah. Hey. Oh. 
welcome, lovely guests. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Maybe can you start by introducing yourselves, uh, Shakira? Right? Sure. Hi. Um, so I'm Shakira, and um, I am um, alumni from NHL Stenden. Mm -hmm. At my time, it was Stenden only. Right. Um, I graduated, I think, in 2016. And I am currently working for an international company called Cargill mm -hmm. as um, EMEA Transportation Portfolio Lead. What that exactly means, we'll get into that maybe later. Yes, <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Daphne. I'm a fourth year leisure and events management student. Um, I'm half Belgian, half Filipino, so mm -hmm. uh, definitely on the multicultural aspect. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's me. I'm trying to finish my studies and uh, see where she's at basically yeah. in the industry <laughs> wow all right great anton how about you um well yeah i'm anton i studied tourism management at stenden and i graduated in 2021 and currently i'm in vienna doing my masters in international management and i work aside as a working student for a company called avia reps in marketing and sales that sounds quite interesting. Amazing. So if you guys at home have any questions for them, please do put them in the chat so that we can answer them as well. Yeah. Um, and then maybe Shakira, let's start with you. You already said, let's get into that later. <laughs> let's get into it now. What let's is get into it, that it now. You do? All right. <laughs> um, so I actually studied international hospitality management, which was amazing. Um, I had a great time here um, in NHN Stendhal, Stenden. Sorry. <laughs> um, but actually, I'm not doing anything within hospitality anymore. So I uh, worked for Hilton for about two years mm -hmm. um, and then I decided that the hospitality industry was no longer for me All right. um, and I took a chance took a leap of faith and I went into a international business company um, and that's where I've been for the last four years I believe maybe even five yeah um, and what I do exactly first of all I work with EMEA so that's Europe Middle East and Africa which is a huge region obviously um, it's an amazing because there's so many cultures, so many different languages, so many different people that you work with. Um, and then I'm specifically in the transportation department. Okay. And um, I'm leading then the portfolio. Right. So basically we have about 350 projects um, within our scope and we need to make sure that the projects that we're doing are strategically respecting the goals of the company. Does it make sense to use the right resources? Is it going to be a return on investment? Um, that type of stuff. All right. So yeah. Nice. Sounds wow. really interesting. Do it is very interesting. Do you still feel like your study hospitality management prepared you for that? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> what is maybe the main thing where you would say, oh, I feel like that is something I really learned from hospitality that I can really put into practice now? Um, so I think in general, um, hospitality really sets you up for success because, um, well, you know how to ha handle stress. Yeah. You know how to work under pressure. Mm -hmm. um, you know how to work with people in general, right? It's very social um, uh, thing with hospitality. Um, so that in any sense, in any role that you have is super, super useful. Yeah. Um, specifically within NHL and Stenden. Um, I'm having difficulty saying <laughs> that. I'm so used to Stenden, but you, we merge, we merge. Um, so um, specifically, I don't know if we still have this, but we had this thing called PBL. Do you guys still have that? Problem-based mm. learning? No, we have no. DBE exactly. now. DBE. What's DBE? Design-based education. So Design-based It's kind of the same where you bring yeah. up a problem and you kind of solve a solution right. as a group. Right. right. So I remember as a student with all of my <laughs> friends and my classmates, we always used to complain about this because mm -hmm. you're in a group and then everyone has to do homework and then you have like kind of the CEO and then you have the observer <laughs> and you have all these different roles. And we're just like, oh, why are we doing this, right? <laughs> but now that I'm in the work field, I'm just like, wow, this is actually exactly what it is. This is a meeting. You're with people. There's one person that's in charge. There's yeah. several people that are, you know, questioning. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and those types of things are definitely what Stenden brought. So that has nothing to do with hospitality management, right? Yeah. I mean, you're in leisure and yeah. you're doing that too. Um, so no, there were lots of aspects of my study that uh, I could use later on. Absolutely. So, studying here? Useful. Yes, useful. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Let me move on to Anton maybe for now. Um, yeah. You're in Vienna. Can you also, Avia Reps, I heard it, like it seems to be some kind of big company. What exactly, can you tell us more about what you do? Yes, 
Um, Avia Reps is a representation company, meaning um, that I work with um, destinations or hotel chains or airlines and I represent them for marketing and sales in the Austrian market because I'm in Vienna. Yeah. And we have offices all over the world, meaning that, for example, the German office represents them in the German uh, market. And for example, at the moment, I'm on the sunny side of my job. I'm in Egypt being familiarized with products we're gonna sell. That so, sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> um, yeah, you have a lot of um, good combination about like office work, where we, where I sit in office, but also I'm outside, um, mm -hmm. getting to see what I'm selling or what I'm, yeah, trying to get closer to the Austrian market. Yeah, did yeah. you imagine working for this kind of company or doing what you did now um, when you were a student, like a bachelor student? <laughs> um, yes and no. I'm for me it was always. I want to go to the aviation direction and the company I was, I'm working for now is also representing airlines. Mm -hmm. um, so the direction is, yeah, maybe it goes in the direction for marketing and sales. I didn't really know before I yeah. got like more into it. And um, well, during my studies, I um, we had the marketing module, which I really liked. Mm -hmm. So therewith I developed some affinity for marketing as well and for sales. So nice. their descendant definitely helped in with these different modules to see where your strength and where you could see yourself because you basically touch upon every different thing in the business world. So yeah. this is definitely a great chance. Yeah, that sounds like a great, great thing. So that you also kind of found what else you might like to do and are now yeah. able to combine it. I think that's really great. Um, Daphne, I think you're also trying to combine a lot of things, right? You're yes, I am. Maybe it's not the smartest idea, but <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> we're trying. We're ambitious. The strong one. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. What is it that you do? So as I said, I'm still a student. I'm yeah. trying to finish my fourth year. So I'm writing my thesis at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, on the, on the other hand, I'm also trying to finish my internship hours, okay. but the funny thing is I'm actually doing it in my own company. So it takes a little bit more time because I'm concepting um, as well as trying to build up the hours to work, yeah. as well as trying to research for my thesis. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot. Um, so at the moment, I've tried to just balance my lifestyle yeah. a little bit better, a little bit better. Sorry. No worries. Good. Um, also, at the moment, I don't have any external pressure in terms of my time or my schedule. That's so <laughs> at the moment, I need to um, be accountable enough yeah. to schedule my days since I don't have any class works, yeah. any class time, any classmates or mm -hmm. teachers. Um, nothing is really pressuring me from the outside. So that's nice. at the moment, yeah, juggling everything is ambitious and it is fulfilling, but yeah. also challenging at the same time. But you feel like you're, you're managing. I mean, you have time to come to us <laughs> and talk to us. Yes, um, great. it is manageable. Um, I think what Stenden has taught me in the last four years of studying here is to manage your time. Um, yeah. Now we have DBE, so it's design-based education in which you kind of have to design your education. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're accountable for the things you do, things you learn, how you learn things and how fast you learn them. Yeah. Uh, so in the last four years, I've tried to also make use of that, just constantly moving, keeping my head active <laughs> yes i think again that's very useful to know and also really shows that you kind of know what you're doing um anton there's a question for you from yeah some of us um did your studies prepare you well for the working field which is kind of what daphne was also talking about yeah um definitely yes um especially with the hands-on what daphne also more or less explained at the moment um we as Senden learned everything by doing it immediately especially mm -hmm. i remember the marketing module because i had no idea about the theories but we mm. uh, applied it directly so when i was start working in that field i already knew how things are working so i didn't only not only know the theory but also knew how to work with it so um, that definitely helped and then also the other courses, like the soft skill courses, I call them like leadership skills or um, cultural sensitivity. And uh, those courses definitely also helped in terms of team building and how to 
present also in sales mm -hmm. now, um, which is obviously important as you try to sell something. So you have to you pitch something to someone. And this is also what Stendon does really well in terms of preparing you to talk to other people and to be, uh, yeah, to stand for yourself and what you want to do. And I think there it definitely helped for what I'm doing. But I'm also still really close to the tourism business. So, yeah. Yeah. But definitely. still, it sounds like it really does help you. And like, you are very happy that you did learn it during your studies yeah. as well. I also yes. saw a lot of agreement from the yeah. two of you. Just uh, <laughs> yeah, showing, <not> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I think um, building on that, there's like the theoretical part, right? Yeah. There's the practical part, especially in hospitality management, where we really serve guests and we welcome them in the hotel and in the restaurant and we cook in the in the professional kitchen. Yeah. And then exactly what um, Antoine is saying, it's the personal development skills, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's not only just about, hey, this is the textbook and this is how you do this calculation or whatever. That is just something you can always learn, always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the personal development skills, I think, is really the strong point of this university of applied sciences definitely and i think that's great yeah, yeah also, <laughs> <laughs> it's also actually one of my most fun parts of why i yeah. love nhl stand so much because i already feel i mean i've been here for one and a half years yeah um i am so far behind all of you three <laughs> and well, not it, behind you're on your own path right exactly. on yeah, my yeah, way yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but i still feel like i grew so much as a person yeah um, which is yeah why this university is for me a really great place to be yeah, yeah. um we have a question also from the chat um, when you guys were students maybe Shakira you can start answering mm -hmm. um, did you reach out to the companies that you are now working at or um, how did that process work for you um, that's actually a good question I didn't personally reach out no mm -hmm. but there were um, organized days yeah. uh, that uh, NHL Stenden <laughs> had good organized job. yeah thank <laughs> you I got it um, where companies would come into the to the to the university and then we would have discussions so we would have lectures from different um, uh, professionals we would have different stands and different booths where we could um, talk to uh, different professionals and um, through that obviously the nice spoke to different companies um for us it was mostly hospitality based of course um but yeah that was a, a great opportunity yeah, yeah amazing yeah. anton maybe how do you feel about that do you have something to add um yeah because i uh, want to highlight the networking because this is how i got the job mm -hmm. is from uh someone who worked at rbr reps before who was also at Stenden, i think two years before me and yeah. she recommended me then and there was one of our tutors who recommended me to her and for me this is also a really great thing and i just said that you meet so many different people also from the industry but also the ones who um you meet now like daphne or shakira or me you never know who's gonna pass your pass you in the future or who will help you in the future maybe it's even someone who sits next to you in the lecture and this is was my partner i think at Stendon you get to know a lot of people who can benefit you who you could benefit from and they can benefit yeah. from you in terms yeah. of your career path and staying connected and using and then it just provides a perfect environment for this and um, to really engage with each other um, and having this community is really really important yeah, yeah. amazing mm. i yes. find that very <laughs> useful <laughs> as well <laughs> <laughs> Great talk. Thank you so much. You're um, kind of related to that, to the two of you again, um, we have a question. How long did it take you after graduation to find your jobs? Um, so did you get Ant right in or? Yeah. Antoine, do you want to um, start? I can start. Um, for me, it was uh, really quickly after graduation. Um, I mean, I started the master's in Vienna first mm -hmm. and then I got after three months or something I started working at Avia Reps aside. So it was half a year after graduation. Okay, nice. Yeah, so um, I did my internship at Hilton. Yeah. Um, and through networking, as you say, we're good at that here. <laughs> I was able to connect with a few other professionals within the um, within that branch, uh, yeah. the Hilton uh, of the Netherlands. And um, I immediately transferred from my internship to my new role so yes. mm. yeah very handy um how is it working as an international in the netherlands uh, did you need to speak dutch or did you face any other challenges yeah um 
Um, how is it? I think it's incredible. I mean, I think the Dutch are extremely open people. I think they uh, want to learn from other cultures. I think they're very curious people. So um, they're very welcoming. I think it is very important that we Nederlands spreken and we snappen hun cultuur. So no. that means it's very important to speak Dutch and understand their culture. Yes. Because what they give to us is what we should give to them, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, it was obviously difficult because yeah. it's a new country, it's new people, it's a new culture. Yeah. But I think um, of all the cultures, um, I haven't been all over the world, <laughs> but uh, I've been very successful with the Dutch um, because of how great they are. So, Amazing. yeah. Do you have any tips, perhaps, for and uh, for students to get adjusted? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Do you want to maybe <laughs> intervene? <laughs> Tip. Many tips <laughs> into getting adjusted. I mean, if you're trying to come to Leeuwarden to study, yeah. Um, Maybe as like an advice tip, it's a small city, you know, you could even say it's a town. Yeah. yeah. But as they were talking about networking, it is a blessing in disguise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we're a university of so many students, so yes. many cultures and being stuck in one small place allows you to just converse. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. not just passing by each other on the streets. You really need to take the time to get to know each other because there's not much around. So you no. really yeah. utilize <laughs> the people around you, yeah. which is a blessing yeah. you know at, at the end yeah. of the day you will find people that you can work with in the future and even during your studies yeah, as right. someone who is trying to work during uh, studying <laughs> yeah um i've made use of like these people you know i go to cmd for example uh, communications and multimedia design yeah where i can find really talented people in the creatives yeah. for example that can help me with marketing with um all kinds of things so networking in this city essentially is it's easy. You yeah. should utilize it. That's yeah. basically the tip I'm trying to give out. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think especially in your case, because um, you started in Amsterdam, right? Yes. With your studies and then you came to Levard. And so um, I also purposely did not go to Amsterdam or Rotterdam mm -hmm. um, because in general, people have their own families, their own friends. Yeah. I mean, they've been born and raised there. Yeah. Whereas in Levard, what I really like is that um, even the Dutch people have to leave their homes, mm -hmm. right? And their, their, their areas to come here. Yeah. So essentially, we're all equal and we all have to find friends and we all have to network and we all have to help each other out yeah um so yeah definitely that would be a reason in, in any case to come to Leeuwarda mm -hmm. yes <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing yeah. against Mepol or <laughs> but, <laughs> but essentially you know we're we're loyal to our city yeah. <laughs> at this point yes. <laughs> and we, we are the biggest campus of all of them uh, yeah. which also allows us for the most yeah. uh, study programs to connect um so I mean mm, it's yeah. a fair point for sure yeah. and, and then um oh, sorry go ahead no please do <laughs> no I just wanted to say because we you wanted tips right yeah uh, I don't think we addressed it fully <laughs> but Antoine um, did you maybe have tips you wanted to share I think you covered most um, yeah. I fully agree on like I immersed in that city and I had really great two and a half years there um, because you had everything yeah you always had something to do because you have so many people you meet yeah. um, because there's as Daphne said not much else to do <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> no but this is uh, how you uh, yeah, immerse in your city automatically, I think, mm -hmm. because it's yeah. super easy. Okay, great. Last tip, though, like, yeah, as she said, I started in Amsterdam yeah. before coming to uh, NHL Standen in Leeuwarden. And being in a city that has not much to do as a student, trust, it's a blessing. Um, not having that many external distractions and just being distracted with what you're doing on a daily basis yeah. helps you grow more. And I think with the DBE system, it really correlated to the you know growth of the students yeah. it's it's definitely something to think about so for those international students out there <laughs> i know amsterdam sounds great yeah. rotterdam those big cities but they are just two hours away on a train yeah. that you could easily you know go to during the weekends which sure. you will have time to do yeah. <laughs> amazing <laughs> Last question to you, Shakira. Um, do you have any tips to stay in the Netherlands after graduating? Anything you can share? Yes. Um, so I'm French, um, therefore I'm an EU citizen. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of visas and stuff that I, I, I can't uh, expand on. But um, as an EU citizen, tips. Um, 
definitely understand with a Dutch person what you need to do in terms of taxes, in terms of different websites. Um, Holland is extremely well organized with that. Mm -hmm. So if you ask the right questions, you'll have the right tools. Um, again, be very open. Please try to understand the culture. Please try to um, speak the language. I mean, even in the town halls in every single city of um, the Netherlands, you can have free lessons. So that's how I started, right? I took that's free lessons. Good to know. From, yes. I'm sorry, I'm yes. going to interrupt. Oh, <laughs> you saw. <laughs> that is maybe one of the best things I've heard so far. Yes. Yeah, oh. So you can you can go to the town hall and sign up and you have free lessons, right? It's, it's pretty intense. Yeah. Because um, it's six hours a week, the one that I did. Um, okay. But yeah, just really be respectful and be grateful that you're allowed to be in this country yeah. um and really yeah just just be respectful yeah. be grateful and Perfect. um yeah take advantage yeah. enjoy the dutch they're amazing <laughs> that sounds amazing thank you guys so much for being here uh, i'm gonna head back over to jonas now because i hear he has been very successful with his plants so jonas how was it did you learn something well i learned that you should focus on the right thing on on one thing and yeah it, it's you should nourish your career like your plans maybe i shouldn't because i suck um, um plants are plants just, yes not a career hopefully. yes okay. yeah plants are just <laughs> not for me so i'm just you know i'm just gonna stick to what i am capable of doing okay so videography it is for example okay let's do that <laughs> yeah well and thank you thank you very much for that another uh thing that we are uh, ready to head back to Mati again. We just talked about alumni during the online open day. What have you been up to? Hi guys, I'm Mati. We're back and we're at the center of uh, entrepreneurship. We're here with Bakke. Could you tell us something about maybe, I don't know, starting a career while you're still uh, studying at NHL? Yes, of course. Um, whenever you're studying uh, some study at NHL standard, and it doesn't matter if it's, for instance, healthcare or ICT or leisure management, uh, you can always work on your own business while studying. Uh, we have several programs which you can follow. Uh, for instance, the orientation journey in which you explore what entrepreneurship is, what it means, if it's something for you. But we also have journeys for developing your service or your products and bring that service or product to the market. That's amazing. Thank you very much. And would you like to add anything? Yes, because uh, next upcoming Tuesday we have this event. It's Club the Dog. It's a Dutch fashion store. Uh, this event will uh, take place uh, next week Tuesday and they will tell uh, their story about how they started there. So it's very inspiring. Amazing. Thank you very much. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mati, for that. Exactly. Being an entrepreneur is definitely something that this school supports as well, right? Yeah. Let's see if we can also manage sometime. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe someday. <laughs> and for now, uh, let's head to the next program update. At 1 o'clock, so 13 for all of you who <laughs> use the other thing, uh, <laughs> we have a study program, live Q&A sessions for the studies of international business, international tourism management, logistic management, creative business, European studies. And for that, you just have to exit the full screen mode and to the left <laughs> of us, click to click on one of the sessions. Also, we have a DBE session, so design-based education, coming up together with Ralica, Nicole and Joanna, who will tell you a bit more about their experience with this concept and the projects that they did in the meantime. Which sounds really interesting. But if you're new and you still don't really know your way around the platform, um, I'm going to quickly tell you how. So please exit full screen mode if you are in it. And then right underneath us, you'll see four tabs. The first one is called Study at NHL Standen, where you can find the six reasons why you could come and study with us. You'll also find information about design-based education. Uh, you can also find guided campus tours and information on application. Next to that, you'll have a tab called Our Degrees, which is where you'll find everything about yeah, the degrees that we offer, master, bachelor, AD programs, pre-recorded sessions. Uh, so check those out. What else is there? Well, we also have our open day program there. So everything that's happened inside the studio as well as outside of the studio and online, you will find in that schedule. And you can also right next to that plan a one-on-one -on -one student talk with uh, some of our lovely students, where you have 10 minutes to ask everything that you want to know about your program that you are interested in or about the school in general so you can get hands-on information unfiltered amazing yeah and especially also <laughs> we encourage you again to please use the chat right next <laughs> to us because we can directly communicate with you that way and answer all your questions that you have yeah 
And then also, again, next to us, you also see whatever is coming up next, so you can easily access those things as well. Yeah, and, and then not, not to forget that we have the Mentimeter as well, not right? Not to forget that we have the Mentimeter, yes. Perfect. And then that's it for right now, and we'll take a short break, uh, but we'll be right back. <laughs> 